another trailer. I believe this is Acheron related. Let's see it. A cleave across the transition world. With a sword. Izumo forged these blades. So I don't know much about Honkai Star Rail lore. So there's a person named Izumo that forged the blade that Akron also uses. Izumo. Who's talking to? Yo, this is kind of like the blade where it's like the blood droplets here turns into flowers. Look, look, look. This is Akira? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. This, this is Akira? Is this Akira, really? She, she's like an Oni? She had horns like this? Am I crazy? Seventy thousand thirty-three blades. This is so weeb, man. I love it. Twelve sentinels. Truth. Yo! Twelve blades? Sky. What is this lore? This is some godlike shit, man. How? Is wait, which one does Akron have though? Okay, this one is Howl, okay. Winds, mist, mist. Yo, the twelve blades. Frost. This is crazy because when I watched the Jing Liu trailer, right? The Jing Liu of Story Quest, wasn't there a whole, you know, um, basically like story of like how Jing Liu's blade was made by Blade. Blade became like a master, like blacksmith or shit, some shit, like forged the blade. I'm not sure if I'm exactly correct, but there was a lot of lore that went into like Jing Liu and Blade's, you know, swords, right? But then it's like, suddenly you drop like the 12 fucking commandments. You got the 12 fucking sentinels. The, what is this shit? It's suddenly the Jing Liu and Blade's blade. It's like means like nothing to me. This is like godlike blades, man. Mist. Okay. Frost. Power. The power crept Jing Liu already. Fate. So I'm gonna guess um, these swords are not that important because they had a lot of, you know, the <laughs> the couple of first swords were very well explained, but then they just kind of skipped over these, right? Look at this, look at this, look at this. Wait, 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 wait. Cool, cool. Fate, okay, fate. Okay, fate's still covered. Fate's still covered. Flare, thought, root, form, bind, ma. They got done dirty. What the fuck did they do to you? But okay, with those sentinels, we seized on tomorrow's expectations. All right. Izumo's blades. So which one is Acheron's blade here? But it, people are saying like, this is kind of like Honkai Impact Third Lore and how they're all kind of like intertwines to like, you know, Honkai Star Rail Lore, right? So are, is one of these blades Acheron's blade? I can't really tell because the blade itself, when you unsheath it, it's like red, right? All of them were broken? What? You just hyped up the 12 blades and they're, they're gone? Okay. Two bearers after the 12 sentinels broke. Origin. And this is crazy. So in the beginning, you had like 70,033 blades. Which may have gotten into 12 blades, and then they got shattered, and now there's two blades. And one is Origin, which seems to be Acheron's blade, right? This is Acheron? I, I, well, at least it resembles her. And then... And... Looks fucking evil. 70,047 blades now. 
一振りだけだが、okay. キーも僕も知っていたそんな救いはなく明日まだ存在しない Who is commentating this? 人類は神々に抗いついには自らを悪気へと Humanity will eventually become Oni. End. What? Akiran already looks like an Oni. Humanity becomes Oni? In resisting the Kamigami. Okay, everyone becomes an Oni. The end has been slashed? Oh, so many new terms, okay. To flex? Drip marketing? What? A lie. Yo, remember the last Acheron trailer we watched together? Remember the black hole during the imagery showing the different predator and prey? Remember that shit? Basically, uh, there's like a black hole at the end, right? Does it relate to this thing or not? Am I, am I crazy? Does it relate? I don't know. I'm trying to make some fucking connection with the images that's been shown in the previous trailer. There seems to be some kind of like, what is this? Like a black sun? What is this shit? Nihility Aeon, maybe? Their shadow. What is this? I thought this is fucking, you know, right and choking for a second. The, the swords appeared out of the booba for a second. Look, look, look. Right out of the cleavage. Right, right. It's coming out of the booba. Right? Wait, no, look. <laughs> so maybe, is, is, is this straight up? Look, is there other characters in Honkai Back to Third where it's like, um, you know, it, Raiden Shogun's, you know, alt was like inspired by? Does it happen or not? Kamigami is the gods. Oni is god. We'll reach their ends. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Eternity awaits. <laughs> okay. So the, so the only disappears, right? The only horns disappear, and she turns into the Akron that we know. And this blade is called the Origin, right? The white hair form. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know that. And she strikes a blow to Nihility Aeon. What is this shit? Ix. Ix. I don't know. What did you say? This world. Is... I knew this world was fleeting. All the different past memories. And yet. And yet. And yet what? Fucking gonna give me more trailers. But basically, this does seem like Acheron's past, right? So like last trailer, we saw Black Swan peek into Acheron's memories and she was just like traumatized, right? Because this is pretty much her past that she's trying to forget. Long, long time ago, she comes from like a different, you know, world that kind of has like Honka Impact third lore. And like she pretty much like inherits origin. And she's like aiming the blade at the fucking Nihility Aeon or some shit. And then eventually she loses the only form and like becomes Acheron that we know. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff to unpack here, and I'm sure a lot of other people will, can give you a detailed analysis, but goddamn. More drip marketing, more people are gonna be fucking wailing on this banner than any other banner in Hoyoverse. I confirm this.